Yeah, hello. And I like to talk about the future of joy. Joy is at the core of BMW. That's why we sell our cars. It's not about just going from point A to point B. It's about the way and really having some fun on the way and really having the way as an experience. Yeah? The, the way is the goal. And let me somehow um, start with my personal way, my experience. So this is something It's quite similar to the view from my bedroom. Um, three years ago, I moved to Shanghai. My, my task was to build up a research office for BMW in China. And when, when other co uh, companies send people to China, they say, yeah, traffic in China is very chaotic, it's very dangerous, and so on. You're not allowed to drive there. You will get a driver, and he will take care of everything. Obviously, for a car company, that's not a real solution. So <laughs> we have to be there and actually firsthand experience that. We have to drive there ourselves. And actually, that's what I've been doing the past three years. And it's pretty cool. Driving in China is, like, especially in, in a city like Shanghai, is a really great experience. And I tried like, all kinds of mobility solutions. We are there to understand this mobility in these Asian mega cities to really experience it and see what happens there and what kinds of products and solutions can we provide it so that it is a joyful experience in the future. And I can assure you, driving with like a 5 Series long version in Shanghai, if you look here, Friday evening, bluely illuminated roads, several stories high, turning up the volume with some nice music and, and driving there in Chinese traffic, which allows you to do some things which you might not do in Germany. I see. Some rules can be bent, others can be broken. <laughs> okay, also as a company, we take a different approach here. We go right into the middle of it. So you can see our office here. It's in the French concession. It's like a residential building. We have design there. We have some software development there. We have research there. And like, we think it's really important to be in the middle of it, to make first-hand experiences, not go to some industrial park with some, some tax reductions, but actually live in the middle of it where our customers are. And like in the morning, we have a, a school and a kindergarten just beside us. People drop off their kids, and we can experience like so many luxury cars, lots of BMWs. It's not from us, it's from our customers dropping off their cars. And so we can do uh, customer studies just outside our door. We counted how many kids seats we wanted to know do they have. For 100 cars, we counted seven of people dropping off their children uh, at the school in the kindergarten. So what we actually do, and as you can see, this, um, we try to run it not as like a, a big corporation, but more in terms of a startup to really understand like the, the, yeah, the, the situation in China and to, de to develop solutions for the future products in China. A good example of this, how like, um, uh, Andrew has been talking about this kind of innovation and also you see in big companies, it's often difficult um, to bring new innovative products. BMW has proven with the i3 and the i8 that we really take electric mobility serious, we really develop new products from the scratch. Again, what do you want to do? What, what do we deliver? It's about the joy for our customers. And you, I can assure you, especially if you're driving the i8, uh, which I've been doing in Beijing for some time, it's really amazing. It's like a super sports car with a consumption of like a small car. And the, the performance and the experience and so is really amazing. But also the i3, it's called a mega city vehicle and especially in, in an environment like in Shanghai, Beijing, it's really amazing how, uh, to drive with this kind of uh, car, to really experience this electric mobility, the elex acceleration, and so on, and also the de interior design, to feel this roominess, and so on, that is really providing joy in uh, this kind of megacity context. Um, and it also shows that we as a company, we can really bring new products into the market which have nothing to do with anything that has been done before. Um, also, uh, recently we introduced the 7 Series, redefining modern luxury, and I'd just like to talk about some things, especially uh, from China for China. So one thing is what we call active seating. It's for the back seat, and 
motivated by like the Chinese habits of making exercises, of dancing and so on. We built in something into the car where you actually, we use this massage programs we have uh, for the massage seats and you can, if you move in the right way, then you can basically play, uh, play a game and um, you have like the, the computer gives you some, some kinds of exercises and so on and you, you have to compete uh, also and can gain some points while you're uh, sitting in the back seat of the car. Um, another thing about technology, which is maybe in the first place, it's not really about the joy, but the new 7 Series has a carbon core, so the i3, i8, we put in carbon fiber. So I can still remember, like, uh, years ago, with a, uh, I was doing uh, racing bicycles and so on, when you have this kind of carbon bicycle, so this was so cool from the material. We now have this in the cars, and what's the advantage? It saves you 130 kilograms, in the right places, uh, especially in, in the upper places, so you can have a lower center of gravity, and in the end, what happens is you have a completely different driving experience. You really feel these 130 kilograms, and it makes the new 7 Series such an agile and cool car to drive, and definitely improves or makes sure you have the joy of driving. And also, I don't have a slide about it, but we have laser lights. So if you have all these kinds of technology, it sounds like from the movies before. And this is also with this feature. It's something like when I was a kid, I was really excited about remote controlled cars. I've been assembling them myself and so on and driving around. Um, and working at BMW is somehow like toys for big guys. Huh? So it's really, especially in the development. So we have one feature, it's a remote controlled parking. So you have a remote control and you drive your car, it's not like James Bond, yeah? but still you can drive your car into the garage and out of the garage without you having to sit in the car. And that's really, it's no science fiction or so and not research, but that is already available now. Next step is, I'm working in research, I'm, I'm heading research in, in BMW China, but this is something we've shown at this year's CES. It's basically completely automatic parking, so the next step when you go to the parking garage, you just get out of the car and the car drives itself to the, to the parking spot. And then when you come back, you just speak to your watch, pick me up, and the car comes back down. So this is something we have in research, and uh, which of course will someday come. But then you say, yeah, you said you're talking about the joy of driving, and BMW, they sell the ultimate driving machine. How does that fit together? So let me show you this slide here. <laughs> you see this guy here? <laughs> He's taking the hands off the wheel <laughs> and the car is doing automated drift. <laughs> so, so who of you can one after the other five times do a perfect drift? Or has ever anybody tried it ever? <laughs> so it's actually quite difficult. For people, even, like if you're untrained, it's almost impossible but even we have lots of people going to driver training. So people driving test cars, they have to get a driver's license from BMW. And these are like really enthusiasts about driving and they have a hard time to really learn how to do this drifting. The machine can do it perfectly any time you want. And this is also something when you think about safety and, and automation with driving. For example, in, in dangerous situations, sometimes you can do um, like an immediate lane change. Who would, at 80 kilometers an hour, make something like that? Of you, who would do this? <laughs> I guess almost nobody, but it's actually possible. And it's a, it's a safe maneuver. If you do it on the test track, you can train it maybe two, three times, then you'll probably be able to do it. And this, like a uh, car automation, can actually do, and this enhances the safety, of course, for these kinds of automation functions. And talking again about automation, it's something that we learned from China. If you think about the use case, what about like these kinds of self-driving cars? What is the real use case? If you look at the movies, maybe like again, James Bond or, or Knight Rider, you jump out of the window and your car drives by and you just fall down and sit in the seat, right? <laughs> maybe that's not for everybody, but more profoundly, it's probably, again, you want just 
speak in your watch or on your phone or whatever and say, yeah, come pick me up, drive me somewhere, and I want to get, get there in time, but I don't want to worry about how I get there and so on. If you look at China, actually, in terms of the use case, it's probably leading the world because, again, what I've been referencing before, it's about, like, if you have an intelligent human driver, he can take care of all of that. So in terms of the use case, it's actually we can experience it already now. But again, if we look at our drivers, uh, we are selling a lot of long versions in China. There's like the five series long version, three series long version, which don't exist anywhere else. Most of the cars we sell are actually driven by the customers themselves. It's not that they all have a driver. A lot of them do, but even if they have a driver, they often drive themselves. And that's something what yeah, we actually learn from our drivers that for, especially for our company, there is a difference and people really want to drive themselves. It's really just a cool thing to do it. Well, I have this kind of powerful machine that you can control. It gives you lots of, um, yeah, uh, lots of pleasure and you can actually enjoy it. So again, what have we been doing? Um, we really, t again, take this topic serious. Uh, so we set up a lot of activities. So I'm, I set up this kind of cooperation with Baidu on highly automated driving for China to take care of these kinds of situations, which might be for our customers uh, stressful or annoying, like traffic jams or where you just don't want to drive. But again, then always have the opportunity to drive, them, to drive yourself to make the whole experience better. Um, so in this uh, cooperation, we are addressing those uh, yeah, several issues that we think will really help to, again, make a product that is really fit to the Chinese use cases and really define a product like I've been talking before about this kind of electric mobility, where it's not just a conversion step, but really having a, a solution there. Okay, coming from the CE topics, I'd like to extend on that. Um, mobility for us is not only the car. BMW doesn't want only to be a car producer. We go into terms of mobility services. And so we bring mobility beyond the car also on your TV, on your phone, on your smartwatch that you, we also are working on, on intermodal mobility solutions. Again, this is something with uh, proactive solutions which help you automatically to get around much better. Um, yeah. And to finally conclude, so we already had the, today the topic of augmented reality. So, of course, MINI also belongs to the BMW group. And this year at the Shanghai Auto Show, we've been introducing something, the MINI Augmented Vision. So it's basically augmented reality glasses that you put on, and the, the use case is mainly in the car. So some of you might know like a head-up display where the image is just uh, like the combi inf information is just floating in front of you. The, the augmented reality glasses um, can show you much more. So of course they can project this kind of information, but you can also take them out of the car. And inside the car, you can really look through the car. So you have this kind of x-ray vision. Uh, I, will, I will later then play a short movie uh, which animates that. And you can really look, for example, through the car if there's like a kid playing there or the ball coming and so on. Or when you're watching back and you want to reverse, it also just helps you to basically use the cameras outside the car. They project directly into your field of view. Of course, you can also use it while outside the car to doing some kind of pedestrian navigation and so on. So this is really, we are going in this kind of complete mobility solutions. So overall, I'd like to conclude, we think that there are people who do not just want to get from point A to point B, who want to really enjoy the way going there and who want to really um, yeah, experience something different. In this way, we have the joy of developing products for those who want to enjoy the uh, pleasure of driving. Thank you very much.